number of javelins that are successfully restocked in phase two can then serve as an input to phase three, such that the frequency of support you get from the UE Navy, from the UEE Navy depends upon how successful you were in defending those ships in that earlier phase. And again, it's, it's, it's what matters less is the specifics of what we're doing you know, right this moment with that, and more what we're allowing the designers to do in the future, how we're basically unlocking them to, you know, to do lots more uh, cool stuff. Um, another big, big focus for this particular event, a, a major one, was from the beginning we knew that we wanted to put a lot of emphasis you know, for the first time on the capital ship battle. So there were a litany of changes that we needed to make in order to enable this. And at the, at the very top of the list was how the AI responded to the threat of torpedoes. So originally, and you know, like I say, uh, this was still true as of about four months ago when, when we finally got to the major, you know, the major push in that regard. Originally, neither turrets nor ships tasked with defending a capital ship paid them any heed. And that meant that it was way too easy to take these capital ships out in the early days. It was literally trivial, it was no fun at all. And so we spent you know, over a month fine tuning various systems so that countermeasures would be launched and worked as expected. Turrets would prioritize major incoming threats like a torpedo over most other things. Uh, players would be rewarded for you know, coordinating their attacks with one another. Like you're much, you know, you tend to be much more successful if three players launch torpedoes at the same time. And then, you know, and and and, and we built in uh, into the logic this, the, you know, this sense to where it, it's not like, you know, it's targets the proper target selection well it, it, what we didn't want to do is make it too, is make it too robotic too precise uh not because you might not have that a thousand years in the future but simply because it's not fun and so what we wanted to do you know if it, it, it targets perfectly and if it's able to you know perfectly shift its, att its attention it you know uh you know it, it, it simply didn't deliver the you know the, the the gameplay feeling that we wanted so again we've spent you know, weeks and weeks tweaking fine-tuning this until we were internally pretty happy with the results um, another good example was the, the idris the idris was originally pretty suicidal in that it would happily engage the javelin and get destroyed as long as it managed to get off its rail gun and so its logic wound up evolving to the point where it's now much more opportunistic. It wants to use its rail gun, but only when that doesn't put it in too much danger. And then one other thing that we noticed was that uh, the, tur the turret targeting couldn't be so Boolean. Uh, it couldn't focus 100% of its attention on an attacker that was only slightly more attractive than another player because again, it, it looked artificial and most importantly, it just wasn't very fun for the other players. We, you know, we were getting internal reports of, you know, you, you have, you know, eight turrets, you know, you know, active on a ship and you got, you know, and you've got 16 players and that, you know, when it was so bullion, it meant that at least half the players were not having, you know, were not having any of that, you know, uh, you know firepower focused on them, even for an instant. And so they, you know, they they felt you know you know they felt relatively bored in terms of the danger presented to them. You want to be shot at if you're if you're attacking if you're jumping in the battle for the Idris and the Javelin. You want to be shot at. You want to feel like I'm a threat. Shoot at me. Yeah, so, so there's a there's a lot more fuzziness and grain, and it took time to basically work through all these details. I mean, we we sat through every you know, every single week reviewing what you know, you know how how it looked when you basically fired individual torpedoes at a ship. How, you know how it looked when you fired multiple torpedoes. How it looked if you fired multiple torpedoes with a very small you know differential in time versus a large differential in time. Um, you know how how the ship responded when it still had countermeasures available. Uh, and then another aspect of this was the support ships that basically defend these capital ships. It's the same thing to where even if you're firing upon them, if a torpedo is launched at the capital ship, they'll see that as a greater threat, break off, and at risk to themselves and prioritize dealing with that torpedo. Um, and so there's just a 